No, you didn't. No. I can do that if you want. No, no, it's good. Get my computer today. You get one of those little, uh, what's it called? Take one. Oh, yeah. Let's get one of those. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, take one. Take one. Okay, we're going to do... All right. What are we doing uh, today, Peter? Do our our uh, chicken liver um, and uh, sage and borlotti bean and onion pasta that we uh, have the, here uh, at, uh, at night on our night menu at Zambri's. So what are, the, what are we looking at here, Peter? Okay, we have uh, borlotti beans. We have garlic. Uh, onions that have already been uh, pretty much cooked down, uh, sage, chicken livers, and one piece of uh, green pepper, jalapeno pepper. Just kind of like, it doesn't really give, give too much heat, it just gives a little bit of flavor. And we have our pasta, alipoidali. And what type of noodle is that? Well, we call it macaroni, but on the package it says alipoidali. And what, what brand of pasta is that? This one is again uh, La Molisana from Molise, and, and we get a, our supplier for that is Falesca. Falesca. Excellent. I hope our, I hope we get a better price now that I've mentioned you on our, on our blog. <laughs> okay, let's get. Into okay, how are we doing it? So we don't want to cut the garlic too thin because it's going to be frying for a bit of time there. If we cut it too thin, it'll burn. Maybe a little piece of jalapeno from the end, hope, well, not from the, from the back. If it's from the back, the seeds are in it and it might be a little bit too spicy. Let's go with a little bit of oil here. So as you can see, our pan is hot, it's already smoking. I preheated the pan. Tiny bit of butter for flavor and for browning purposes. Garlic okay. chili. Chicken livers. You can see that there's an abundance of fat in there and it's already starting to go brown. That's what we're looking at doing with this dish. And just remember when you're cooking that you're, you, 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 your heat can go up and down. It doesn't have to be super hot. It doesn't have to be um, super cool pan. Always kind of like check out your check your heat out. Make sure that it's on target. So as you can see, I'm not mixing them around too too much because I want them to get brown on one side. We'll go a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. At this point we can introduce our sage to the pan. So the garlic is getting brown, as you can see. That's what you can see it's getting brown. Oh, that's a little bit too dark. And our livers are getting nice in color. That's what we're looking for. Nice and dark. Let's get our onions in the pan, which are already pre-cooked. That's coming out. Some barnotti beans. I crush a, a few of them just to kind of build up our sauce. White wine. chicken stock in here, just to continue cooking the chicken livers all the way through. Well, not all the way through, but until they're picked. Yeah. Yes, probably about good. Just, you want them just brown? Just brown, yeah. yep. Poached chicken livers are not necessarily the most palatable 
think you need to. But when they're brown, they're delicious. And uh, we're going to take a tiny bit of this tomato. to the to the sauce. As you can see it's still a little bit liquidy there, but that's fine because we have to heat, heat and finish cooking our pasta. Would you consider that one portion or two portions? I think that's uh, one in a bit. We usually make a tiny little bit more uh, so that we can taste we can taste our food before it goes out. I make sure that all of our cooks are continually trying everything that they make. Mmm, delicious. Bowl preheated in the oven? A nice warm bowl. Everybody needs to remember that if hot food goes on hot plates, cold food goes on cold plates. I learned that from Chef Rod Butters. There's another plug. <laughs> yeah? Hey Butters, there you go. Get me into the restaurant hall of fame now. <laughs> Hello. Hi Chef. Now, I like to finish uh, a lot of our pastas with it. Just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. It kind of shines them up a little bit, and uh, of course, it has uh, olive oil flavor. As you can see, the liquid is pretty much absorbed now. The pasta is cooked properly. All our garnish is here. Not too much. I mean, you know, yeah, not, not a crazy amount. Yeah. 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 over there. And now we have a little parmigiano reggiano that we're going to grate on top. Oh, well, it looks delicious, Peter. Tiny bit of pepper. And pretty much that's the dish. Oh, voila. Uh, as you can see, it didn't take very long. In a restaurant atmosphere, you kind of got to do things quick. That's why the onions were pre-cooked, the tomatoes were already hot, the pasta's pre-cooked, because it's pretty much, order comes in, food gets made, food goes out. And, um, there's not much time in the restaurant industry to, to have mingle over, over your uh, preparations. Um, hence, uh, the quickness of, of this dish, anyway. And this is a chicken liver pasta? Chicken liver pasta with sage, borlotti beans, onions. And it's on our nighttime menu. Tonight, Zambri's opening 5 o'clock. Thanks, Peter. Okay, thanks, Galen. Have a great day. See you soon.